guys, it's Amanda and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing some old paranormal investigation footage I have from 2019. Definitely go watch my Tuesday's video first. In that video, I'm explaining the history of Cherry House in Cape May, New Jersey. So definitely go watch that to get the history and what ghosts are actually at this house. And I just explain everything in that video. So definitely go watch that first before you watch this. I have the footage all on my laptop here and I will put the footage on so you can see it. I'll edit this video in some sort of way. I'm not sure I'm doing it yet, but I will be watching the footage on my laptop and I will be recording my reaction here because I have not watched this video or this footage since 2019. This, I filmed this before I even was a YouTuber, so this should be interesting to watch. So let's get right into it. Okay, I think this angle is good. Okay, so Let's look at this footage. This footage I have, I, again, I don't know what I'm getting myself into. I have not watched this since 2019. This is actually the camera that I filmed it on. This was my very first camera. And this camera is very special to me because this is where I would do all my investigations and ghost footage on. And this is really like my first camera I ever had, starting with vlogging and creating videos. And this is what, led me to being a YouTuber. I have it all on the computer now. Let's see what we get ourselves into. Without further ado, get some snacks, put some spooky music on, and let's do this. <laughs> We're going up the stairs. We're going to work our way all around. Take your time. So this, where we are at right now, this is the second floor bedroom. This is where the woman is seen a lot, I, if I recall correctly. We're going to work our way all around. Take your time. Squeeze in. <laughs> oh my god, there was me. I remember they gave me an EMF meter to use, so that's what you're gonna see a lot in this footage, and they picked me to go through the house with it, so that's what you're gonna see a lot of in this footage. <laughs> Oh, where's the guy to your guys? Right here. Oh. Well, no, oh. this is my wife's home in Danville, PA. Yeah. Somebody yeah. up on the red light or something. Nice. Nice. Oh. Nice. Oh. 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 Nice. Oh. Nice. 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 This woman that just talked, I remember she was actually a psychic medium that came on this tour with us and she did talk with me and she said that she felt a lot during the investigation. And that's why she said, come over to the chair because she felt something near the chair. Like right here. It's like right, right where I'm standing, like all in this area right here. Then it stops right here. It's standing right in the middle. Is it going this way? No. It's like right in the middle where we are. Right there. Well, that, yeah, if it's turning really red. There's a receptacle here okay. for the uh, for the room okay. underneath of it. So sometimes that will. So that was obviously debunked. So what? 
So this is where that trundle bed is that Beth was talking about that was on the third floor. It's under there. And sometimes... Anybody from Philly? Philadelphia? No, I guess not. All right, never mind. I won't point out my Philadelphia athletics. <laughs> Of course, my dad started talking with leader of the tour about athletic training and athletics. Of course, he started talking. And now we're heading up to the third floor. This was definitely real steep steps. This is one of the children's rooms. So the upstairs, the third floor is basically the attic, but they still do have some rooms up there for the kids. So like it was super, super, the ceilings were super low. So like we had to like crouch down through the whole thing. So I'm going near all the different toys. Probably a boy. Because there was this light bulb here that would flash off and then on. And uh, it's never been replaced, it's the same, uh, same one. So. And the trundle bed, <coughs> excuse me, trundle bed used to be up here, and then we moved it downstairs. And, mm -hmm. yeah. and the, that's a little dollhouse that she was punching. I know that in this particular room, I did get the most activity from the MF detector, and I felt the most energy in this top room. <laughs> I see why you want to come up and play with it. Yeah. Yeah. Was that my wife made that? She did. Oh, and it was wow. upstate Pennsylvania, and her nieces for like ten years, and then. The cat was living in it. And <laughs> so we brought it back down and uh, rehabbed it. <laughs> and now it's on, uh, I have it on a dolly or a wheel. Okay, right. So you can wheel it out. Oh, nice. I don't think like anybody plays with it anymore. They're all uh, too old. Too old mm -hmm. yeah. That was fun. <laughs> It left. There was a time when the MF detector was right near that bunny. That's when it hit all the way to red. It was a very split second. I'll replay it for you. That was really cool for me to experience. But like going down these super steep steps was really scary. Yeah. <laughs> 
promenade uh, if you want to see something nice. It's always uh, what we do, since the Kiwanis guys are gross, we always ask for help. So you get all the little. Wow. high heels or something? I literally love everything in this house. I want to live here. My hand is vibrating. And for some reason, when my hand vibrates, my left hand, that's usually when it's there's... printing colors. Yeah, there's something when my left hand vibrates. And I, now it's stopped. Well, it's still going. As soon as I got here. This is one of the mediums I was talking with. This must have been a porch, mm -hmm. maybe, originally, and then they enclosed it. But it was enclosed a long time ago. It's blinking again. A lot of people were talking, so it, I could I can't tell if I caught any um, EVPs on this footage. I can't tell because everyone's talking and it's a really echoey house. I wish there was times when everyone would just shut up so I could like hear anything. Everyone was talking, so I can't tell if there is any EVPs of anything, which kind of sucks. But. <laughs> So now we're going straight into the kitchen area. These are the doors that the dead bolts will be opened up and the doors open up. It's all been added on. Yeah. And nobody knows if it started with the center of the house or the fireplace there. If it started there, it can go out. If it starts in the front, it's the least used house. The least used room in the whole house. The fish is used excellent. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And she cleans. And she loves football. Oh, my God. He's not a man. He's got 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 a this was this was blinking a lot upstairs in one of the bedrooms. What about in the trundle bedroom? A little, yeah. Yeah. And also um, the girly room. The girly room. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
So now we're going straight outside. And that's all the footage that I have. Let me look. I do have some pictures that I took. I think the next night we came back to the house. We didn't go inside, but we went outside the house. So let me look and see what I have here. So yeah, I do have a lot of pictures that I took throughout this tour too. Of, especially of the girly as I said in the video, girly room with all the hats like I mentioned in my previous video, how the woman was admiring all the hats in the house. So I will show all the pictures that I got in the house on here as well. I just noticed as I'm going through these pictures, I caught an orb in this one. I'll put it up on the screen now, but there, it doesn't look like that's a mirror or if it's a light or a reflection and it definitely wasn't a bug. So I think that is definitely a ghost orb right there. I just noticed that. So the original investigation was in 2019. And then the next year we came back to Cape May because we go to Cape May every single year. So the next year we came back and I remember we went back to the Cherry House just to look outside of it and get some footage and pictures of it. There was definitely, I did catch another odd thing in these pictures. There was this at the very top, the left hand window at the very top. You can see that the, each window does have a candle, fake candle inside. And in one of the photos, I caught a green light in the window. And it you can definitely see it in the window, but I don't know what could that could possibly be because in the investigation footage, I did go up to that room into that exact window and there wasn't anything other than the candle up there. So I don't know what that green could possibly be. That is all that I caught during this investigation. Okay, since we reviewed all this footage, I think that is going to be the end of today's video. If you like this sort of thing, if you want me to go and investigate more places, I definitely will. I have plans to go different places very soon and I would love to share that with you. That is gonna be the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed, please hit the like button, hit subscribe if you have not already, and click the notification bell so you'll be notified every single time I upload. And if you want to find me anywhere else, you can find me on Instagram, TikTok, Goodreads, Pinterest, and in between the pages of a book. And as always, remember to be the Captain Jack Sparrow of your story, and may your compass lead you to amazing things. And I shall see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.